Hi, welcome back to Analytics Test. I am Reza, and in this video, we are going to learn about normal distribution and how to plot one in Excel. Normal distribution is a statistical concept that describes a continuous probability distribution of a random variable that follows a normal or bell-shaped curve. It is symmetrical with a peak at its mean value and tails that extends to infinity from both ends. The standard deviation determines the spread of the curve with the smaller values leading to a narrower, taller curve and larger values resulting in a wider, shorter curve. As you can see, adjusting the mean will shift the curve to the left or right. For example, if we change the mean from zero to minus one, you can see that the curve shifted to the left. For positive values, for example, plus two, you can see that the curve shifted to the right and the shape didn't change. Let's put back our curves into its original place. Now we can change the standard deviation. We can give smaller values uh, between zero and one, such as 0.5, and we are making a narrow tall curve while giving standard deviation above one, we'll make the graph wider and shorter. Normal distribution is a critical concept in statistics and scientific research, as it is used to model many real world phenomena that exhibit a normal or nearly normal distribution, such as human heights and weights, IQ scores, and measurement errors. To get, start, to get started, we'll open Excel and load our workbook. Let's dive in. Let's have an empty sheet, start by typing the values for mean and standard deviation. So I'm going to put normal distribution, type in mean and standard deviation. And to make it a bit uh, easier to read and follow, I'm going to change the format of my heading. For mean, I will put a value of zero, and for standard deviation at the moment, I'm going to put one. These are the parameters for standardized normal distribution. Step two, in a series of empty columns, type in the headers indicator, then type in X values, and then Y values. You can format these columns to make them more easily readable and visually appealing. Change the format of the cell to heading one. So in the indicator column, uh, start from minus five and we'll go up to plus five in 0 0.1 increments. So let's type in minus five. In the next cell, we are going to say previous cell plus 0 0.1. And if we drag it, we can see that it goes from minus five to minus 4.9 or minus 4.8 and so on. Let's drag it up to where we can have 100 cells uh, or go from minus five to positive five. Let's have it here, drag it one more. Now we have up to positive five. Step four, in the X value column, put the formula which equals mean, click on mean value, equal sign, click on the mean value, plus, uh, parentheses, our indicator value times our standard deviation because it is uh, we are multiplying indicator and standard deviation. Technically, we do not need those parentheses. 
now we have the value at the moment because the value of standard deviation is one minus five times one is going to be minus five we need to make a minor change we are going to use dollar sign to ensure that the addresses for mean and standard deviation are static not dynamic so in our formula we put a dollar sign before c and three and then four or c4 as well so we are making it static and do not dynamic double click on the corner to repeat go to the corner double click and all of the values would be filled in in the y values you need to put the formula which gives you a bit of more information the formula is equal sign norm dot this which is a normal distribution we need to have the value of x so we have x values we click on it then we are going to click on mean then we click on a standard deviation and then we will type false to say that we do not want a uh, cumulative which is for true and false is just probability mass function so we close our parentheses and enter now we have a value let's make minor changes making mean and a standard deviation static as well in this column and press enter now we have the values uh, do not worry these values are scientific no, uh, notation of the values of very small values now we go to the corner up and double click and all the rest of the cells are filled now let's format our values we select all of the values we change it to number we can have as many decimal points as we want we can make no decimal points or just one decimal point making them more or less so let's stick with two decimal points at the moment or we can add more and have three decimal points now we have all the necessary values let's insert a line graph select your y values go to insert and click on the line graph and now you have a very nice bell curve the values are not correct for x-axis but don't worry we are going to change it. some of the changes that you can make to make the graph look nicer is first of all let's change all of the uh, fonts to black instead of this title we can type normal distribution then we'll make one change double click on the graph in the formatting click on a smooth line and we are making it smoother something else that we need to do is uh, we can click on select data and then we can say that horizontal category uh, axis label is going to be our x values so we select our x values for the horizontal axis and we have all of the values there we can change the formatting to make our graph a bit less crowded change the format of the numbers with no decimal points at the moment we can double click on our horizontal axis and try to make a few other changes for example we can go to labels and tick marks and make necessary changes if you want 
So uh, for the labels, we can say that intervals at 10. So we do not overcrowd our graph. Say that go from minus five to five, just show the exact values. Now you have your graph ready. You can see that you can change mean going from zero to one. Now you can see the values change from minus four to six. You change the standard deviation. You make your graph a bit taller, uh, flatter, or you can make it a smaller value and your graph changes as well. Congratulations. You have just created a normal distribution curve in Excel. Now you can experiment with different values for mean and standard deviation to see how they affect the shape of the curve. Thanks for watching and don't forget to come back for more Excel tutorials. Thank you.